use a volume in millimeters and cubic centimeters. Home link 6, 7. Solve the problems below using V or volume equals L times W times H or volume equals length times width times height or volume equals base times height to help you solve. Record the volumes in cubic centimeters and in millimeters. Remember, one cubic centimeter equals one milliliter. The area of the base of a pencil is 100 square meters. The pencil case is 5 centimeters tall. What is the volume of the pencil case? So I'm going to use volume equals base times height because right here it says base. Base of the pencil is 100 square centimeters base and it's 5 centimeters tall. So I know I'm going to do volume equals 100 centimeters squared times 5 centimeters. 1 times 5 is 5, and then I'm going to add my two zeros, so it was 500 centimeters squared, or cubed, I'm sorry. It then says, remember, 1 centimeter cubed equals 1 millimeter. So, 5, so if I had just 5 centimeters, it would be 5 milliliters. But because I have 500 centimeters cubed, this means it's going to be 500 milliliters. 2 and 3 you're going to do on your own. It says a small aquarium is 20 centimeters long and 25 centimeters wide. The water in the aquarium is 20 centimeters high. You want to use the first formula for this one. It then asks, what is the volume in the volume of water in the aquarium? Number three says, Alex has calibrated has a calibrated bottle. The water level is at zero milliliter mark. When Alex places a baseball under the water, the water level rises to two hundred milliliter mark. What is the volume of the baseball? For each problem above. Which unit of volume makes more sense? Explain your answer. So for number one, I'm going to say that centimeters cubed makes more sense because we're not going to, the other two used water with milliliters, and I feel that that makes more sense. And usually, if you ever, I know we use meter sticks and there's centimeters on our rulers that we use to measure length and volumes of stuff. Milliliters we use in science usually when we're measuring liquid. So for problem one, I'm going to say, I would use centimeters cubed for volume. Because we aren't measuring liquid. Your practice is to multiply fractions. Remember when we multiply fractions, you multiply straight across.